Welcome. In this short video, we will show you the steps in the initial installation of the scanner module of your Canon Image Prograph TM200 and TM300 multifunction printer. Before getting started, it's advisable to download the online manual for your Image Prograph multifunction printer from the Canon website. With your Image Prograph printer positioned on its stand, you can proceed to unpack and set up the scanner module. When you unpack the L24EI 24-inch or L36EI 36-inch scanner, you will find these components. The L24EI has only one return guide. In the L36EI scanner module, you will find three return guides which are identical to this one. Using the hex key provided, at the left of the image prograph printer, remove this screw. When you remove this plastic cover, separate this top part from the larger part. Retain the larger lower part of the cover and its screw. Then attach the left scanner support bracket to the image prograph printer using the three screws that were supplied. Then reattach the lower plastic cover using the original screw. At the right side of your image prograph printer, Remove this screw and the plastic cover as you did with the left hand side of the printer. Then separate the upper part of the cover from the larger lower part of the cover. Attach the right side scanner support bracket using the three screws which were supplied. Now reattach the lower part of the plastic cover using the original screw. Ensure that each alignment foot aligns with the hole at the top of the scanner support brackets. Then gently lower the scanner module onto the support brackets. The L24EI scanner can be lifted into position by one adult. However, it is recommended that the L36EI 36 inch scanner is lifted onto its mounting by two adults. At the rear of the scanner module, insert and secure this thumb screw on the left and on the right side. At the right side of the scanner module, Insert this plastic cable guide into this hole. Near the power switch, attach a self-adhesive stylus bracket, like this. Then attach the paper return guides at the rear of the scanner. Attach the magnetic paper guides, both left and right, to the front of the scanner module. These can be repositioned to accommodate different sizes of originals. At the rear of the right side of the scanner unit, insert the power input cable attached to the power supply unit. Then insert the network cable. Run both cables through the cable support guide. After switching the scanner unit on, tilt the user screen upwards to a comfortable angle. To operate the scanner, you can use this pen stylus provided with the scanner, or simply use your finger. Let's begin by confirming that the scanner is connected to your network. Tap on the settings button. You can see here on the screen that the scanner is currently set up for DHCP. By tapping on this information button, you can see the current network settings. To return to the main menu, tap on this home symbol. If you need to configure your scanner with a static IP address, tap on the settings button. Scroll to the network setting icon. Tap on the static button. Tap on the IP button. At this numeric keypad, enter the IP address that you wish to use. Then press the return button. Now tap on the subnet button. You will see the numeric keypad again. Enter the subnet mask settings that you wish to use. Then press enter. Then tap on the home button. To initiate these new settings, switch the scanner module off at the power switch. Then switch the scanner unit back on again. Your new network settings will have been applied. All done. To find more helpful resources for your Canon large format printer, browse our Canon Business AU YouTube channel and visit us at canon.com.au.